Your life experience, good or bad, is a gift when you share it with others. At Taxi Chronicles, we allow real riders with real stories to share their gift. So hopefully this episode will intrigue, enhance or inspire you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we're back with another episode, another pair of riders. We've got a lovely couple. So lovely that this man opened the door for his lady. I did mention I haven't seen that in ages. And his lady's all the way from New Zealand, but she's looking like a New, New Zealand blonde version of the Kardashians. All, all dialed up. And they have a TikTok and YouTube channel, so it's going to be an interesting conversation. Nice to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Gotcha. So tell us your names. Tell us what you do with your YouTube channel. So I'm Giuseppe and this, this is Gigi. Gigi. We're Gigi and, and uh, Giuseppe. Basically Gigi and Giuseppe, yeah. So that's what we go by our brand, our YouTube, our social names, Gigi and Giuseppe. So we come as a couple, as a pair, as a partner. Okay. So, um, yeah, do you want to talk about our YouTube, TikTok? Oh, basically we... Um, have been dating, well, been seeing each other for about a year, and then obviously during COVID and stuff, we started up a TikTok account, which started with me basically showing off my beautiful boyfriend. But then it just turned into like a really, really great activity. We we're both on furlough. It turned into this like awesome we thing. Just had a lot of time. We started documenting like us cooking and the dates we'd go out on what you could do in london during covid little like just prank short, things small little yeah like Every little day. we it just started off as like vlogging things and now we like do a little bit of the trends jokes and stuff that goes around on tiktok but we've really enjoyed yeah, it for since we've been doing it let's say about january okay. we've gained about half a million on tiktok really yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so during, after let's say about three months, we decided to do an Instagram as well. Um, so they can kind of be both. So all of our social media accounts can be um, connected, like together. Mm-hmm. So when of course our TikTok was going up, our Instagram was going up, and now we've nearly got twenty thousand on our Instagram and like million, like hundreds of thousands of views on that. And then from Instagram, a couple months after that, we went onto YouTube, and we're trying to do the same thing there, and it's slowly going up. So we're just doing our social media, you know. Do you film the, you just when you film for TikTok? Do you just share it amongst the other channels, or do you do separate videos for YouTube as well as? Uh, the YouTube videos are obviously longer, so they're like fifteen minutes long yeah, so, uh, so the first one we did a vlog of our trip to Brighton and then the next one we just did a Q&A so the most common questions that we get asked in the comments we just answered them but we've only put up two so far yeah our YouTube is our YouTube channel is mainly for people who actually want to get to know us because it's longer videos but we're actually talking not just doing like skits funny videos or you know we actually we show our personality and what we do what we like no, just a normal vlogging channel yeah we want to create a channel where people can watch it and relate to us not think that it's this like far off kind of thing we want you know the people who enjoy watching us and who like us or like Giuseppe or like me to like watch it and enjoy it and yeah. feel like it's been a fun experience to yeah slowly all of our social media accounts have so you, grown a lot so you've met during lockdown yeah and literally how, how did you meet Oh, I moved into my house and I had like three girlfriends over and we were just having a few drinks and then she knew one guy who invited a a bunch of other guys and then he showed (laughs) up and obviously he's gorgeous. We didn't talk for three months. I took a fancy to him. You know, it was one of those love, hate, but... Would you say that? Well, it was me mostly loving on you and you thinking that you were... It, you were too young to give up bachelor life no it just you know what it is you know what it is you know what I think you know what I think as I'm going to speak on behalf of all men out there all men don't know what they have until it's gone like especially in terms of having a lady with you she'll do everything for you but like because yeah so he he played around for too long and I'm not gonna lie every girl loves a man that's hard to get they love it you know yeah, the so nice it works, guy it? It the nice guy never really actually wins at the beginning definitely not but he played the game 
way too long so i was like all oh, right well i'm over it and i got carried away and then a couple of weeks after i come to terms with the fact that i've gotten over it i've moved on it's not going to happen he comes back into the picture okay and now we've been together ever since yeah it was a funny one <laughs> <laughs> I pursued it for a l- long time. Can yeah, I and point out something? Yeah. Sure. Because of the way we're built differently as males and females, some people may say that females are more looking for security in the earlier years than men are. Mm. If you see what I'm saying. Yeah. Because if I don't have to worry about getting older and having children or settling down, then why am I going to be... Oh, yeah, no, right? that is true. In terms of Do that security. I mean? and so, yeah. So yeah, when you yeah. find... When you're when a you know a lady comes up to you. Well, women have got women have got a body clock. Men don't. Yeah, yeah, no, you guys point. can be and having babies when you're 85. Yeah, and, and, and also the the thing of maturity. we're on a time limit. Yeah, guys mature later, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, exactly. And that's because we, and that's probably because <laughs> we have to. We don't have to. Exactly, so you will force it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you're just forcing you as like, alright, fine, I give in, cool. No, no, but that is true, though, that's true. I've never actually thought about it. You probably do mature slower because you don't have a need to mature because obviously you're not having babies and you don't, your body literally isn't, you know, on a no stopwatch. Females do tend to be <laughs> much mature anyway, so it's just a, who's more, who can, I don't know. Be the person well to I think the woman is always more mature yeah. and we just put Definitely. up with men but then that's why can ladies we, that's probably why it's listening. common that men uh, women take older men in certain cases Ooh. yeah of course because because, because women want that, that they want to feel that kind of like oh I feel like a lot of the time women feel like even if a man is independent they still need your advice they still need your opinion they still so you're always kind of in charge whereas i see the appeal when women date older men it's like someone's in charge of them so it's a different dynamic mm. okay that's interesting just uh what well, you know, usually these are the kind of debates you have on on your <laughs> youtube because you should be having them we don't really um, we should actually do this content. though because yeah, we don't yeah, actually do put, debates yeah. because i don't know your age is but, and you look like you're in your 20s. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you had to guess, no, no, no. Oh, if you yeah. had to guess, what would you say? What would you guess? Based well, on our looks. Early 20s. Early to mid 20s. I'll say that. But I'm not the best at guessing. Well, Giuseppe so. and I are four years apart. Okay, you're older. Yeah. She's older. Yeah, because babies. <laughs> Can you tell the maturity in yeah, her doing she talks, she talks, <laughs> You yeah, see? More thing. Yeah, you're the toy, Me, I'm just the like. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah. toy boy. Yeah, well, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, you get is that what it is? is? Yeah. Toy boy. <laughs> yeah. We're on live right happy. now. <laughs> you know, uh, he's happy. Well, he's good in bed. So, okay. if that's what makes him a toy boy, then. <laughs> okay, is that yeah. the modification? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, so so what have you learned? This is definitely the best podcast you've got on your show. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm sure he's got. I've got a story. I've got over 500 episodes. <laughs> but um, what's what have you learned from doing this whole? I don't know. I don't think that, it's still recording. Uh, uh, yeah, it is. I, it was. Uh, what have you learned that you wish you knew when you started? When since you've been doing this whole. Uh, so, social media influencer. Don't tell anyone your business. Mm. Go always keep your own, like your own. Moves, Play your, your cards your, to your chest, yeah. definitely. But isn't that a bit contradictory considering your both? Yeah, every it, it day, can, every movement, every meal. Yeah. No it's more kind of like business plans, not really like what's going on personally in our lives, but more like what we plan in terms of like how we're managing our social media and things like that, because I think. You never, you think that people are your friends until you realise that people can be oh, jealousy. actually jealousy. Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can just, you know, you can just sense like that 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 form of jealousy in some mm, people, definitely. especially when you you speak to a person like they just yeah. they just act different or they speak or they're just not really like excited about the when things that you are. When people see you start being successful, then they act yeah. differently around you. Some people say you only tell people what they need. To so yeah. It's not gonna benefit. yeah. If it doesn't benefit them, then no, not even them. If it's not going to enhance what you're doing, then why would you tell somebody? Oh yeah. Do you know 
you understand? Uh, no, I get that. Because they can follow you on the social media anyway. Mm. They can hear what needs to be fixed. Yeah. In, in that respect. Unless they're coming to you with an idea. And if they're coming to you with an idea that's saying, why don't you do this? Because you seem to be good at such and such. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I've said to you about, talk about your, that uh, kind of topic. That could, that could, um, in that respect. So what does the future hold for you two then? <laughs> um, well, we're thinking to... It's a little bit different now because we're both back at work full time, so we don't have the time of our hands that we did during furlough. But I think what our plan is now, as our following has, you know, progressed so well, is that probably like looking into getting, you know, professional advice and maybe someone else on board who has expertise in public relations and social media management because we just don't have the time right now to actually juggle yeah, full-time level. work and this as well but with those kind of numbers that you're pulling in surely that pays yeah but not as much as we'd like to the no goal... it does pay you just have to be consistent and always yeah, be getting that's what them. I'd say. Oh, yeah. a podcaster yeah and i know many other podcasts it's all about consistency definitely Definitely. i think our goal is though is that we'd like to put everything we have like all of our time and energy into the social media and really make that our main source of income as much as we you know enjoy our nine to fives yeah like we will have like one good month or two good months when we've really been on to it but the times that we've been really busy we haven't you know some you're not always in the mood every day to entertain you know can i make it i don't know if you do this already but in that month where you do have time do so many episodes and just schedule them to be published. Yeah, we do yeah. do that. We try to, we try to do that. We try and do bulk and then, f- like, filter it through. Mm-hmm. Through the yeah. days, so it's like we're still consistent every week. But it's hard, Because there'll be, like, a week where we won't be posting anything, and then the next month we'll be posting every single day. Mm. You know, it's about consistent, consistency. But it depends yeah. what we're doing, with, what's got go- going on. Yeah, so. like, you know, just doing the social media and then work as well, so it's, mm. it's very... So you've got to make a conscious decision that you're going to go for yeah. it because you've got branding, you've got all these things. But the only other thing I'd say is a niche. What mm. you're telling me right now is what a lot of people, young people, do. Mm. And I'm not saying young in a patronising way. I've, I've, there's a lot of episodes that you probably would like to listen to yeah. where you get professional people who uh, do the social media or, or manage, like mm. when you're speaking about, and talk about it, and they say. There, there's a lady, she worked for a makeup company and um, she deals with 700 different in- influencers. Whoa. Mm. And she was saying how the Ridiculous. range of the people, the age group is 18 to 24. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. that. And after that, you've got to find like a niche of a, let's say you're going to be, you're known for not just like little chit chats, it's something, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's books or writing or whatever, mm. in that respect. But, Lala, you've been great guests. Oh, thank, thank you, very you very much, much. for including us. us. Thank you for taking the trip. Is, what's, what's the impact you want to have on the world? Positivity, and of course, for you, it would be healthy eating, plant based. <laughs> nah, <I've laughs> probably just push like healthy lifestyle, the importance of caring for animals, caring for one another, and contributing to the planet in a positive way. I remind everybody, where can they find you? You can find us on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Yeah. It's GG, G I G I, and so, Giuseppe, G I U. Both of our names and your phone S E P P E. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Thank Very you. Much for <laughs> and we wish you well. Thank you. Bye bye. We hope you liked that Taxi Chronicles interview. Don't forget to share and subscribe to get the latest episode. Ever considered investing in a continent with the fastest growing economies and population on Earth? The same continent that holds 30% of the world's known natural resources. Listen to our sister podcast, Africa Investor Stories, where you hear real investors with real stories from around the world share their experience of investing in Africa. We post Monday and Thursday at 10am, British Standard Time.